My name is Tom Marshburn. I'm the pilot of NASA's SpaceX Crew-3 mission to the International Space Station. I'm not quite sure why spaceflight grabbed me the way it did. It, it found me, really, more than me deciding to uh, become fascinated with it. There's something about leaving everything we know behind, everything, not just our friends or family or home, but even the planet, going to places that we knew almost nothing about at the time I was reading about it and understanding how somebody could change. So it was almost like going up into heaven or something and coming back. That was just infinitely fascinating to me. I have three brothers and three sisters. Five of them had decided to become doctors. So the one thing I knew I was never gonna be was a doctor, because I didn't want to be just like them. But while I was in graduate school in engineering physics, I realized that everybody I was hanging out with, everybody I enjoyed being with, were either medical students or doctors. Maybe medicine something for me, and it turned out I, I loved it. Got so immersed with it that I actually forgot about space for a few years. Began to practice after that in Toledo, Ohio, where they had a life flight program, and that's where I did my residency for emergency medicine. I wanted to fly, and so I applied for the first class of what was then the Space Medicine Fellowship, and in 93, I showed up at NASA. I was all starry-eyed, excited, and ready to start learning about space medicine. I got to know the patients. I got to know the astronauts and the pilots that I would be working with later. And that was an enormous amount of fun. One of my first jobs then as a flight surgeon was to get shipped out to Russia to support the phase one program, which is when we took NASA astronauts, put them on the Mir space station so that we could learn about long duration space flight before we started sending astronauts to the International Space Station. There's something about working at Johnson Space Center, I think that if anybody had ever considered flying in space or wanting to, when you show up and you see the incredible things that everybody is doing, it's hard not to get the bug to want to apply and become an astronaut. So I did three spacewalks and supported a fourth as the inside crew member. The main goal for us was to take these batteries, each weighing about 200, 250 pounds, and move them from the robotic arm that was holding them from the space shuttle and move them onto the space station. This had not been done before, so they're very thrilling. The long duration mission is quite a bit different from the shuttle mission. You really feel like you've become a resident of space, a resident of zero G, and you start to feel like you're getting an idea of how this works. I'm looking forward more to flying with three people that haven't flown in space before. This is a very unique crew. They are incredibly operationally savvy already. Those, I imagine from their prior jobs at ESA and in the military. I know they can do the job. There's no question about that. One of the great legacies of the space station is not just going to be the science, but very importantly, the international cooperation. It's not for survival, it's not for competition in the marketplace, it is for just exploration. And it's just a, a vibrant, wonderful place where great science is happening.